Tonight is about something we call RISE, the RISE campaign. RISE stands for Recognising Inspirational Scientists and Engineers. And we've actually identified uh, 10 of our really outstanding scientists and engineers. We're pairing them uh, with rising stars. These are younger, younger people who are also show great promise for being the leaders of the future. So we're having some mentoring of the rising stars by the RISE leaders. But thirdly, uh, our RISE leaders are being paired with very senior people in industry, business, government and other professions where again they can help mentor our RISE leaders and of course our RISE leaders will also be influencing these very senior people that we want to interact with. So the first award is to Jim Alcanili um, of the University of Surrey. He's going to be partnered by Liam Byrne who as you know is the Shadow Minister of State for, for BIS, so a really significant partner. If you look at the range of people, the champions that we are paired up with, it's fantastic. There are people who are talking to entrepreneurs and people from industry, uh, uh, politicians. I think it's going to really spread the word about the importance of science and engineering in a way that I don't think we're going to find out about until somewhere down the line. I'm one of ten um, rising stars um, and I was nominated by um, Professor Kevin Shakechef from, from Nottingham. Having recognition from somebody like Kevin is, um, is for me very humbling. It's actually acknowledging my potential at least. I will use it to really build confidence in myself and, and promote um, our field and really bring to people what it can mean for the, for the future. The next winner is Professor Jeremy O'Brien from the University of uh, Bristol. Oh, it's really very exciting uh, for me, but even more exciting is, uh, is the uh, nominee that I uh, nominated for the uh, Rising Star Award, who was uh, successful as well. He wins a um, British Science Association Media Fellowship, which is something that I did uh, several years ago and is an excellent experience. We've heard a lot about the need for a large number of scientists and engineers uh, in the future and I think the more inspiration uh, people can provide to, to young people about the, you know, the excitement and the benefits of being involved in that, the better. I'm going to be paired with uh, Professor Sadie Creese in the same department at Oxford. And we're, we're looking towards uh, understanding cybersecurity better, understanding how people treat security, how people understand uh, the basic concepts and stuff like that. And also what we're trying to do is look into the link between security and computer science and also psychology and kind of marrying disciplines more. The final winner in the leaders category is Professor Rachel Williams of the University of Liverpool. I've been uh, partnered with uh, Sir Mark Walcott, who is the Chief Scientific Advisor to the Government. I'm meeting him briefly tomorrow, but I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to invite him to come up to Liverpool and to meet some of the young people I work with and uh, some of the early career researchers so they can explain a little bit about the work that they're doing as well. Again, in my own personal experience, I've seen so many times that, that really outstanding work is very often inspired by one or two really very critical people. And, uh, and it's those people that do the leading, that really make things happen. Uh, it's those folks that, that really make the whole system really so, so effective. So I think it's recognising that is, is the real objective here. Although public engagement and popularising of science and engineering is something we do very well in the UK, a lot of these rising stars are deeply into their research. You know, that is their main priority now. They're making a name for themselves in their research field. So they don't really have the, the time to look around, stick their head up and, and, and spread the word. This gives them an opportunity to show off just how great innovation, engineering, technology and science is in this country.